All right, guys, welcome back to the show. And now we kick off with our very first discussion this morning. We want to talk about how to build an affair-proof marriage. Is that even possible? <laughs> In this day and age, it seems like there's so much cheating, so many extramarital affairs that are going on. Well, I have a great guest. Uh, it's good to have him back. His name is Victor Salamba. Karibu Busana to the show. Thank you so much. Um, now, affair-proof marriage. It almost sounds... Anyway, hopefully it's possible. Yeah. It is possible. It is possible, it? yeah. It's just that our, our culture today has seemed, has seemed quite um, to the contrary of it. Yeah, it makes <laughs> it look like it's impossible. It does, yeah, certainly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but there's good men and women out there who are committed to the vows that they made and the covenant that they made in their relationships. Yeah. But maybe even before we get to how to actually prove our marriage from uh, affairs, mm -hmm. let's talk about why people cheat in the first place. Um... If I can look for the simplest um, answer I can give. People cheat because they're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> me, because um, cheating simply means that I'm not willing to invest and to work mm. and to do what is required to keep my marriage to function. Yeah. I believe that cheating is a product of absolute laziness. Yeah. Because um, you'll hear someone saying, um, I, I walked out of, 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 of my marriage because my wife didn't do this. Or my husband didn't do this. Yeah. But I always say that um, if at all really you are a person who's respectful, the same way that you proposed, sit down with the person and tell them, yeah, yeah it's not working. Yeah. Yeah. This whole sticking around is, an, is absolute laziness. That's so instead of, instead of people confronting the issues that uh, are bothering them, yeah. they use affairs as an escape code. Yeah. Because how do you begin a conversation from there? Because the moment you have an affair, you immediately nullify your moral authority that's true you can't come and say i cheated because mm. no 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 no. you, you cheated. cheated let's 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 drop out there yeah. first yeah yeah but the rest is not paper two <laughs> of how you cheated and why <laughs> <laughs> um a lot of people though um will say that they cheated out of like temptation like like there was no self-control or someone has just wali rogue was jini witchcraft jini nini no 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 <laughs> i don't believe in any um yes there are things we can say that um can be hereditary for example but still i believe that there are choices you make that's true. You begin walking to Nakuru, you'll, you'll, you will get there. Yeah. You know, and you don't start saying as 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 a as a man who is married, I can't say I accidentally had uh, and I you know I accidentally cheat. How do I accidentally cheat? Yeah. There's no accident. <laughs> yeah. You know, if I, if I look nicely, there was a lot of process and thought put through it. That's right. You know, it's not that I ac accidentally had food that had chili. <laughs> That's a different issue. Yeah. Yeah. But an affair, I actually thought it through. Mm -hmm. I can't blame the ancestors. <laughs> I can't blame the local witch doctor. I can't say anything. <laughs> because I've, I've heard people saying, Ati, oh, nilikaliwa, nilikaliwa cha party, but ulikuwa wapi nilikaliwa cha party? Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, kaliwa. <laughs> yeah, where were you? <laughs> so there has to be the point of responsibility. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's, it sounds like to a lot of these affairs then, happens out of the insecurities that we're, 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 we're saying, mm -hmm. right? That people haven't learned how to communicate in their relationship. They haven't mm -hmm. learned how to communicate with one another. Mm -hmm. um, and so temptations and all of these other things would just be excuses, really. Mm -hmm. um, how does one have those awkward conversations then? If, if maybe you see that... Maybe the spark in your relationship is gone. You know, Karoman's kamekuja tu na Valentine's Day kameenda tu. Iya tu vile weekend imeisha imeenda. And um, that's beginning to frustrate someone. And mm. now they start fantasizing or thinking about other people or seeing the way their friends, them, their husbands, post them on Facebook every Friday. Na we wako, ataka anniversary post ni bahati. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So how does one begin to confront those conversations as you're saying like to say you know what i'm not happy with such and such or i think there's a breakdown in this area because it's, it's very uncomfortable to come back and now say um why aren't you treating me the way you used to treat me or i wish you would you know there's almost an expectation for you should know yeah if you really love me you should already know it, it, it's 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 also you know i just like to add some, something else there is and separate those who have those issues mm -hmm. And those who cheat because they are just have bad manners. Okay, yes. Yes, there's okay. a group that is just, they just have bad manners, <laughs> it doesn't matter, yeah. you know. Um, to those who maybe you're feeling as though the marriage, you're, 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 you're drifting, 
remember in a marriage you don't drift overnight mm. no in a, in a marriage you've set up various cultures that help you that help you drift and when you're waking up and realizing that, that you're drifting many a times you have already drifted mm. yeah because it means that there's a culture that came in, into the marriage and you built on it i'll give a simple example i call it the simplest culture in any marriage mm -hmm. is the culture of eating together yeah yeah most couples eat like zebras <laughs> You know, because they eat in shifts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and and you ask someone, when, 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 when is the last time you had a meal with your with your spouse? Yeah. I, I don't even know. As wow. you eat when someone eats, you serve yourself, you eat when you eat, you eat outside. Such small things, you are drifting slowly apart. Yeah. When you drift slowly apart, the, the way back is long. Mm. Because now both of you must be deliberate. Mm -hmm. The mistake now we make is that when I bring it up to my wife, I bring it up as though she's failing. Mm. I tell her, you no longer do this for me. Mm. And she'll respond and say, you also don't do this for me. Right. So the first remedy is get doing. Yeah. Start doing it first. Simple things. Yeah. Just eating together. Eating together. Have a date night. Yeah. It doesn't have to be expensive. No, 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 no. A very simple thing. Go to Uhuru the... Park. <laughs> Take a boat ride. Yeah, simple things like yeah. that. Because, you know, we, we actually budget for so many things. Yeah. We don't budget for months. Right. Yeah. We don't think that fine. We can go have a soda and just have the uh, conversation yeah. scratch, just the two of us. That yeah. works. Yeah. The problem is if if if, if you're like a couple now, they tell you, ah, you know, we have, uh, you know, we have school fees. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, we have this to do. You know, okay. we have bills. We have this. But simple things like eating together. Yeah. You know, um, 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 um I li I like saying this every every time. Flat with your partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Flat with with your partner. Why do you flat with the neighbor? Yeah. yeah, flat with you. Flat, you know, make a message yeah. at in the if, middle of the day. Take any couple today and look at their text messages between them and their partners. And <laughs> <go> <laughs> <through>. <laughs> it's issue, <laughs> issue, 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 issue. There's, there's <laughs> no part steamer. where they're saying, eh, I'm thinking about you or I, I miss you, I want you to come home. Nah, yeah. There's nothing that is. Did you pay power? Diapers in Asia. Yeah. Your mom has not gone back. What do we do? <laughs> That's all we send. Oh dear, so true. Very yeah. sound advice here coming from Victor Salamba, relationship coach. And we're talking about building a ma uh, an affair-proof marriage. Um, but Victor, I think the truth is, I feel like sometimes we're our own worst enemies because yeah. there are women in this town, and I just get very irritated when I hear this mm -hmm. statement, mm -hmm. who are like, but of course men are going to cheat. But of course, like they, you know, that's just what they do. And these are women with mm -hmm. their own spouses. Mm -hmm. Like, why would you speak something out like like that? And so, there's almost there's. I feel like there's a cluster of women who tell younger women to just expect it, and and to be okay. I think they're almost sanitizing mm -hmm. the idea yeah. that every marriage is going to have to have some sort of affair. And when it does, like, chill, as long as he's still paying your salon and your, your nails and whatnot, like, it's okay. That's just the way men are. Um, to me, I normally find that a bit, um, I, it's next to witchcraft. <laughs> it's very close. Because when did you sample 3.5 billion men? Right. Who made you the chair lady of sampling men? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and <laughs> that you know every single man cheats. Yeah. If you as is cheating, that is yours. Yes. And that is based on your own circumstance and your own marriage the way it, it is. Mm -hmm. Because there are men out there who are committed to their marriages to the very end, mm. you know. And there are men who decided. The issue is that we also have very few reports of such men also. That's true. Yeah. But there are men who are committed. The problem also is that also choosing to settle as as well. What are your rules of engagement when you get into marriage? Mm -hmm. Did you get married and say, okay, I'm getting married, but there's a possibility my husband will cheat and I'm preparing myself for it? Yeah. Or did you enter saying, no, I'm going to work on my marriage, I'll be committed to my marriage, and I believe right. that this man will not cheat? Yeah. And you begin that mindset. And set it as a value. Like, yeah. And that's why when you're courting and you're dating, like, do you actually know the person? Do you yeah. know what they stand for? Too? Yeah. Because yeah. at times, you know, I always say, what are your deal breakers? Talk, talk about the Mali. You mm -hmm. know, I know people have said point blank. Me, if you ever cheat on me, we are done. Yeah. yeah. You are, don't even waste time at coming. Uh, just you just go, just keep on walking and go. <laughs> uh, there's no coming back. Yeah. It's good to understand what are the rules of of engagement. And yeah. many a times, cheating is seen early. Sure. I've always said uh, most marriages, if you look critically, cheating is seen. Is seen what early. are some of those signs? One, if someone cheats on you while you're dating, eh. there's an eighty percent chance. Their, that is their profession. 80% chance, yeah. Because 
when when you forgive someone for cheating on you when you're dating, you have not forgiven them. You have accepted that they'll cheat again. Wow. Yeah. You only buy a beware. There's no other okay. way about it. Yeah. Okay. So that's the first thing that we normally look at. Because statistically, such people end up cheating again. Statistically. Yeah, they always end up cheating again. Oh my goodness. Because Ataka mana kwambia pole with like fifty thousand roses. Uh, uh I don't think pole really na said younger Eh, wow, okay, okay. Yeah. Number two, look at how they operate. Look at their personal boundaries and their values towards you first of all. Mm -hmm. You know. Because if the person did not respect themselves towards you, automatically they have boundaries that are not even there, mm -hmm. you know. Look at the friends the person keeps. That tells you as well. Mm -hmm. If you find that I'm a guy and my friends, I've got four friends, and yeah. all of them are changing chicks every other weekend. Yes, yes. We meet at, at the, automatically. You know yeah, that the this guy is friend. Yeah, me. <laughs> yeah. This, 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 this is the line. Mm -hmm. Look at how they deal with the exes. Is the ex in the picture? Yeah. The biggest mistake we make in our marriage is that our exes are there. Hey. Yeah. So there's nothing for just being friends. With with who? <laughs> <laughs> with the ex no. do, do you other you don't like to burn bridges no no no, no. that's a burnt bridge throw <laughs> the bridge away <laughs> forget about that bridge an ex remains an ex yeah an ex has no space in any marriage that's right the only ex that has space in a marriage is if you share a child right and they are there in the capacity of a, of a, of a, of right. a parent. So it, it has its own boundaries yeah. too. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> very, very interesting conversation here. Again, you can send in your feedback to double two, triple nine, and also on our Facebook page at Switch TV Kenya. And um, so, hey, cheating still, whatnot. Let's talk then about how do we now sort of bulletproof our marriage from, from, from affairs? Because we're saying that, you know what, there are people who are good people out there. There are people who are committed to their relationships and the vows and the covenants that they've made. Mm -hmm. So what are the things then that we should be doing to ensure that things stay that way? Apart from the fact that marriage is supposed to be a lifelong love affair. You see, Matthew talked about flirting. Mm -hmm. uh, flirting keeps a marriage young. Mm. flirting helps me to keep on pursuing my wife mm -hmm. and my wife to keep on pursuing me as, as well mm -hmm. you have to continue the things you are doing while you're dating the date nights the romance has to keep on going yeah you don't sacrifice romance for children because marriage precedes children mm. yeah mm. many couples make the mistake of saying now we have kids we can't go out yeah we can't go for holiday no 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 a family uh, um going out with, 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 with your partner is not on sunday going to church with the kids and everyone mm. no 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 it's not going for holiday with your mother-in-law <laughs> No, it is. Do people actually do that? People <laughs> can do that, and you wonder why. <laughs> you know, just need the, the two of you to always be deliberate to do things together. Yeah. Something that is very, very, very important: secrets. Mm. You can't affair proof a marriage if it's a secret. You can't. And this is, I don't understand how people in marriages have got passwords on their phones. Uh -huh. I'd never understand that. Yeah. Because once you're married, there's some privacy lines that are crossed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that's why it's called, uh, 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 <laughs> I'm trying to use a very good word here. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I can't say that I have a private life yeah. and I'm married, yet I'm married to someone who I am with all, all through. Right. Who has been with me in my most private moments. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Secrets are the enemies. Or let me say, secrets fuel affairs. Yeah. If a woman sends me a text message today and tells me something that is inappropriate, maybe she says, Victor, I like the way that you look. I don't keep quiet. I screenshot sent to my wife instantly. Uh, yeah. Immediately. I don't even wait for tomorrow or next week. Because if you have nothing to hide, you hide nothing. You know, if a guy hits on you, you don't even wait. The <laughs> husband knows it. Hot news. It's hot news. Yeah. What? Because what? What? What have you done? The devil thrives in darkness. That's yes, right. You can't defeat an enemy to your marriage in darkness. Mm -hmm. Bring it out. The mistake people make. And I a message. Hi, and he doesn't say. And <laughs> One day you'll have a weak moment. Yeah. You will respond to that text. Where? One day you, you'll have a weak days. There's a day when you feel unloved. There's a day you feel inadequate. You all have those days that, yeah, that, yeah. that come. And you, you like to lean on, on that person. Mm. Secondly, I always believe that have mutual friends of the opposite sex. Mm. I can't have an exclusive friend. Tell my wife, that now, no, Joyce is my friend. 
we grew up together. No. Mm. Mm. If you can't be my wife's friend, then we stop we being friends. We are not friends. Yeah. I can't go and say I'm having lunch with this friend of mine. My wife does not know about this friend. Yeah. We must be mutual friends. Yeah. If you can't be a mutual friend, then we end the friendship. Okay. Yeah. You know, it, it, it makes me then think also of something we, we, we should absolutely talk about, which mm. is emotional cheating. Mm -hmm. Because I think a lot of the physical cheating, especially for women, mm -hmm. begins that way. Especially when you're saying, you know, there's times where you, you just, you don't feel as loved, you don't feel as, or you don't feel in love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you, uh, you love the person but you're not you could not you don't feel you're in love with mm -hmm. the person mm -hmm. um or you don't feel uh, appreciated mm -hmm. and whatnot and maybe there's just this person who compliments you and you're remembering how maybe your husband or your wife hasn't complimented you in like you know a few weeks yeah. emotional cheating mm -hmm. talk to me about that because I, I feel like we almost negate how powerful and destructive emotional cheating is by the time someone starts confiding in you about their issues even if you, you think, but we've not done anything, it could just be on text, maybe you've not even met up. Mm -hmm. um, I want us to talk about that. Emotional cheating to me is the highest, to me it's the highest form of cheating. Wow. Because it means your heart has gone. Okay. Yeah. And from my experience um, uh, through, um, through, through, um, through my, my practice is that whenever I find a couple that has had an emotional affair, mm. the road back is longer. Mm. It's far much longer. It's mm. easier to find, and I'll, and I'll just maybe break this down a bit better even. If you find a man, and a man 35 onwards, 35 onwards, men 35 onwards don't get into affairs for sex. Mm. 35 onwards men get into affairs for emotional connection. Wow. And that's why you find that a guy who is 42 is having an affair, and a, a lady comes from the same husband, I ask her, how old is he? And I'm 42. I stop. I tell her, here we have a crisis. Wow. Because it's, it's no longer about sex. It's not physical here. Mm. He's in it for the heart. Now that is where the work begins. The same thing as well with women is that the moment your heart is involved, you automatically mm. giving your heart back to this person is work. Mm -hmm. You'll not be there. Mm. Because when the heart leaves a marriage, there's no marriage. A body can leave a marriage and come back. Mm. But a heart can't leave and come back. Hey. Because the heart has almost what we call eternal memory. The heart does not delete anything. Emotional anymore. cheating is more damaging than physical cheating. It's more damaging. Because you, it's easy, and I'll just be practical, it's easy to deal with someone tells you, this was a mistake, we met, we, I was in Likaliwa Chapati, and, <laughs> you know, and it ended. Mm -hmm. It's easy to say that. But you ask someone, look at how you communicate with them. Mm. You don't talk to me this way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You wake up in the morning, you send them a text. Did you sleep well? Mm. Me, I wake up next to you. <laughs> so you see, over time, <laughs> you know, as oh you're moving dear. on, you'll find, I, there are things you don't even tell me. Yeah. And now, because I never learned how to tell my wife these things, I've been telling another woman, even when I'm discovered, I don't, it's difficult for me to stop telling this one. Yeah. And how do I start telling my wife afresh? And I'm used to telling her, what do you need? Mm. Now I'm supposed to tell her, how is your money? Mm -hmm. It doesn't even flow from, from the heart. Yeah. So to me, it's dangerous. It's very dangerous. So if a man, if you find a man having an affair above 35 onwards, you find it's one woman. Yeah. Not a skin six years. There, my dear, we have work. Wow. That one, you need Jesus himself. Eh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, wow. I, 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 okay. <laughs> And I, I guess maybe that's also why friendships with exes are so dangerous yeah. because because of that friendship that did exist outside of the romance and mm. the love, you know, that you had between you as lovers, you are also friends, yeah. right? And so there's an emotional connection there. Yeah. And just to reiterate what, you, what you, you, you've commented about, you know, being friends with your exes, uh, maybe you can repeat that um, for my audience member here who says, hello, Joyce, the segment is really powerful. Is it not okay to be friends with my ex? I always have communication with him. Is it that bad? That's funny. He's watching from Kibara. It's absolutely terrible. That is a crime. <laughs> it is a crime. <laughs> you not even think about it. <laughs> Because why, why are they an ex? Yeah. It's because it didn't work. Mm. Remember that if I have an ex in my marriage now, I have history with this ex. Mm -hmm. The history I have with this ex is competition to the history that I'm building. Because right. the relationship is as good as, as, as its memory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And why my ex is in the picture is because I have a memory with them and I'm still building continuous memory. Yeah. So if I had an ex who dated for four years, 
and I'm still that ex now, and I'm married for six years. It means this ex has been in my life for 10 years, my wife has been there for six. Wow. The ex has a stronger history. Yeah. Yeah. So why are they hanging around? Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> someone is like, how can you prevent a man from cheating? Really? <laughs> That's Mary from Nyandara, and she also says she thinks it takes trust from both partners and commitment for there not to be an extramarital affair. As I said, it takes work. Um, I'll put out the bad manners group because mm -hmm. the bad manners people get married knowing that they cheat yeah. in a bad manners group. <laughs> <laughs> yes. there's a, there's, there's, there are many marriages that end up having affairs. I'll even talk about emotional aff affairs. They all sneak up on you. Mm. Affairs always sneak up on people. That I don't have, have, from experience, I tell you, people always say it snuck up on me. I didn't see it coming. Mm -hmm. But it just happens. What is it? Is that I ensure that I, I maintain the cultures in my marriage continuously. Mm. How do you stop a man from cheating? Mm. It's a very simple thing. You know? Mm. Connect. 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 Okay. Always stay connected. Okay. If you eat together, you will know. Yeah. If there are no secrets, you will know someone has crept in. Yeah. 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 Another message here uh, that, I've, that I've just seen, a uh, full circle with Joyce. Hey, I used to tell my husband mm -hmm. of guys hitting on me, mm -hmm. but he would then tell me that I am the one who entertains them. Mm -hmm. And all I wanted to show him is that he can trust me. Now I don't bother telling him anything. That is a guy who was doing his own things. You mean like he was probably cheating? Yeah. <laughs> Victor. I think I said that on air. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Because um, his tone towards the wife is judgmental. Yeah. And we always look at life the way we look at, our, at, our, at ourselves. Hey. So his tone is from a point of, of uh, judgment, meaning that he believes in himself that the wife is the possibility that she's doing that. Yeah. There's a chance he might be doing it or he's thinking about it. Hey. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> let me try and read some more messages here. Um, hey Joyce, interesting conversation right there. I'm in a relationship with a lady and we're blessed with a three-year-old son. I have been a present dad and I'm always trying to make the relationship work. But I feel like I have a lady who's not decided and wonders about how to dispel me off her life. This is a gentleman. You see, he has to separate issues now. He's, make, he's coming with one package. He's coming in as the father of, of, of the three-year-old son mm. and he's trying to be the husband in one package. <coughs> you can't be both. There mm. are times in life you, you have to separate them. The lady is allowing him to be a father, mm. but in her mind she never saw him as a husband. Wow. So it's good that he becomes clean and tells her, you know, do you see me as a husband or not? Wow. Yes. Nikubali na nijipangi. Yeah. Okay. Another person here then says, Hey Joyce, um... Uh, mine is a question about my husband. We've been married for three years mm -hmm. and our marriage has never had bigger issues. But this year, I realized that he was taking money without my knowledge, sending it to his mom and some, and I asked and he told me he was not going to explain. So I moved out of my home, um, and for a while. And when I came back, it's like, We've not moved on. We still find ourselves bringing up the story again. Uh, when we argue, I feel we, I've been betrayed. And I think I've not yet forgiven him. Please advise. She made a tactical mistake. Tactical mistake number one is that um, choosing to leave. Oh. Yeah, because that's not a thing to make you leave a marriage. Okay. So something you sit and fight through it. Okay. Before you find a way through it. Number two, this is his mom. Why did he not trust you enough to tell you that I'm sending money to my, to my, to my, to my mom? Mm. You see, what is the history of finances? Does he, does he feel as though he can't support his mom? What are the dynamics of where he comes from? Mm. So, the, because now she's at not only at war with him, he's at war with his mom oh, as well. Yeah. And the only way to disarm him at this point, because she walked out, her walking out has armed him yeah. and has armed his mom. Boy. So now she's coming back into a system where she's fighting now to regain his trust because he also feels betrayed. Yeah. Yeah. I think that she should have, um, the first thing she should have done to disarm him would be like, oh, it's good you sent your mom money. That, that's a good thing. But I prefer if at all you told you him. To yeah. Yeah. Because this is his mom. And uh, the moment you go to war with a man's mom, and maybe you don't know why you're sending money or for what, at that point, the back lines have changed. Now she's fighting a different demon. It's no longer about the money. Yeah. Now it's you don't like my mom. 
Okay. That okay. is the battle now. Okay. Yeah. So there's, there's quite a bit of work to do yes. there. Yes. Well, <clears throat> as we get ready to wrap up, Victor, I, there's, there's something we need to talk about. Let's say a relationship has now been through, you know, the ravaging effects of an affair. Mm -hmm. It was discovered, you know, I don't know. But maybe they want to reconcile or mm -hmm. maybe the woman decided or the man decided that he was not leaving the home. Um, whoever cheated or whoever was cheated on has said, you know what, I want to stay and actually fight through this. And mm -hmm. just before you answer that, because you said this is not a reason for her to leave the yeah, home. Yeah. Are there certain reasons in your mind that you'd say almost justify leaving our marital homes? Yeah, first of all, violence. Absolutely. I believe violence you don't wait. You leave immediately. Number two, um, the moment marriage has got into a place where there's cruelty now. Mm. Cruelty is when I hear funny cases of maybe a man bringing another woman to the house and the wife is there. The level of dehumanizing that happens, yeah, that's yeah. for leaving. Okay. But other things, uh, who didn't flush the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> you can deal through those. <laughs> yeah. All right. So mm -hmm. in the case where cheating has happened, mm -hmm. but they're still both in the house, um, and maybe the one who was cheated on has decided that, you know, l let me see if I can give this a chance. Mm -hmm. How does one recover? How does one pick up the pieces after an affair? Um, it's a long process. I'll summarize it into a few things. Okay. One, the responsibility must be taken. Um, the one who had the affair must accept they had the affair mm. and must deal with the fact that they had that affair. Mm. But remember that men and women process affairs differently, very differently. Okay. But so statistically, women hardly leave their marriages because of affairs and mm. men leave because of affairs. If the woman cheats, the man will leave? There's a higher chance of the man leaving than if a man cheats, a woman has a higher chance of forgiving him. Because to a woman, an affair is a betrayal issue. It's a heart issue. Mm -hmm. Women have high emotional in, um, intelligence. She yeah. can process it better. To a man, cheating is he has lost. He's now number two. Wow. The very thought of him being number two doesn't... You've bruised his yeah, ego. So to him, he can take it. Okay. So that's why men process it a bit dif differently. Okay. Secondly, um, to get back a man on the on the table is to remind him now that he's number one. Mm. You see, and that is uh, as good as a good. It's on tactical parts, but to allow him to be number one, mm -hmm. to remind him that he's still number one. That even though I made this mistake, that person didn't compare to you. Mm. You are number one because mm. men it's where he ranks. Yeah. To women, on the other hand, it's a different issue. A woman must understand the full dynamics of that affair. And this is where also men fail. Because mm. men don't take time to... Because women want to know everything. She wants to know, did you kiss her on the forehead? Did you kiss her on the... <laughs> you know, did you hold her leg? Where, where were you? you know, she wants full details. details. And women wake up yeah. at 3. In the morning at home, at 3. You know, so they begin <laughs> such discussions. And most men don't want to go through it. But yeah. before we look at why did I cheat, we must look at the fact that I cheated. Okay. That's where you start from. All right. Yeah. Wow, what a great conversation. This is how you start off a Wednesday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about extramarital affairs with Victor Salamba. Thank you so much for coming through to the show. Lovely. Always a pleasure to have you and we hope to see you again soon. Yes. How can people find you though? Should they need your services, they may need some conversations to be had. Yeah, um, just go to Facebook, Victor Salamba. I think everything of mine is there. Okay. Or Google Victor Salamba. All right. I think I'm the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Thank you, Victor. Okay. And thank you guys to those of you who've sent in your questions and your feedback about this topic. Um, hopefully you've learned a thing or two here today. With that said, we do need to take a break, but we'll be back with more Full Circle with Joyce after this. Stay tuned.